we feed our bodies every day, and it's important that we feed our minds as well. Because the mind is constantly looking for something to feed on, and you want to feed it well. Otherwise, it starts looking in the garbage cans, picking up scraps off the road. And it's dangerous, the kind of food we get in garbage cans and off the road. In other words, all the things that come in by the by where the eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind, if you're not really careful about what you're feeding on, you can bring a lot of poison into the mind. So we feed it with a breath. We feed it with our conviction that our actions really do make a difference. So that we're not just on the receiving end. We realize that what we do is going to have a huge influence on what we experience. And so, as I said, if you don't like the news, go out and make some good news of your own. If you don't like what you're experiencing, you've got to change your actions. It's a very basic principle that we tend to overlook. We want the world out there to change. The question is, how do we change ourselves? That's what conviction means, conviction that your actions really do make a difference and it's worth all the effort that goes into training yourself to do things that are hard to do. Say things that may be hard to say, but may be the right thing to say, the right thing to do. And so when the Buddha listed the qualities that give strength to the mind, he started with conviction. Traditionally, it means conviction in the Buddha's awakening. But what does that mean? It means that we believe that it is possible through human efforts to find true happiness. The Buddha showed the way. Not only did he do it, he also was able to teach other people to do it. We're still in the influence of his teachings. They're still around. They're still available for us to practice. So make sure that you use them to measure your actions and figure out where you need to change, what needs to be improved. And as long as you have the conviction that this is worth it, you find that it really does strengthen the mind. That the opportunity to do good becomes in and of itself a nourishment for the mind. And then you begin to realize there's opportunities all around. There's an opportunity for a really good nourishment. You can leave the food on the road. You can leave the food in the garbage cans. You want something better. And it's found right here. Every time you make up your mind what you're going to do or say or think, you've got the opportunity to do it skillfully and to make a real difference. That's what really gives strength to the mind. 